What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with an MMAT, Technicals and Statistical Threat of Analysis. Uh, before we get started, please make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could join our trading community. It's called RCAB. Uh, the description below will have the links for that. Uh, with that said, let's begin. Okay, you guys, so we uh, haven't touched uh, bases on MMAT for a couple days now, a few days actually, and uh, we did notice a few things. First of all, we did notice that we were in this uh, uh, massive trend reversal signal of a formation called a descending broadening wedge. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then I always talk about the uh, golden rule of three. So we always have a test of the resistance three times before we face an accumulation or a capitulation before a move to the upside and attempt to an actual true breakout on the fourth test. We did get that breakout on the fourth test and uh, we then came back to test our newly converted resistance into support. These are these are textbook examples of what we have to do in the trade you guys so uh we also know we were tracking this as it was happening you guys we were we were seeing this as we were going so uh we also did notice that we had started uh another uh reversal signal right here this is a descending channel and we and, and we did break out of it realizing its true nature right so uh, in doing so for the long positions, we did, let me draw a trend line at the genesis of the formation, which is, which is right about here. We did uh, get our overall uh, price objective from the formation, as you can see right here, that we even used it as a form of a resistance. So we broke out of it and then confirmed uh, the, the newly, I'm sorry, the, the support. These were, these were uh, several areas as we were moving up that we could see as resistance. They are no longer valid, you guys. So uh, price action has continued on to the upside. And what's happening right here, you guys, is definitely not random. Um, we, were actually, uh, we were actually calling this move when we were talking about MMAT. So, and uh, I can actually show you with this following chart. So this is the, the statistical side of the analysis right here, you guys. So we uh, are looking at volatility represented by this indicator, BBWP. Um, volatility is direction neutral. We can actually, uh, only because we're down here at contractive levels and we start moving up does not necessarily mean that the price action will go up. Um, so, uh, and, and uh, inversely as well. So uh, I noted here by hand, the the iterations from when MMAT has reached fully expanded levels of above the 90 percentile. So um, I actually took by hand the upside thrust on an iteration versus the duration of the versus the duration of the of the iteration. So uh, the metrics came back with uh, I'm sorry the data the data that came back is very interesting. So we're looking at 23 total iterations out of the uh, 23, 11 were were I'm sorry 12 were correct. So that gives us an averaged upside accuracy of 52.17% with an average upside thrust of about 58.17% uh, over the span of about uh, just over nine days. So uh, this was actually right over here that we noticed that we were at over the 90 percentile and uh, we were actually looking at the, this is, I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't mention this. This is the uh, momentum oscillator. This is stochastics momentum. So we pair BBWP along with momentum to create a uh, momentum versus volatility profile. And this is what gives us the bias in direction. And uh, in my experience, the momentum oscillator has been right and correct in guessing that direction about 80 to 90% of the time. And uh, the, the, this was my, uh, my uh, LARP line, if you will of of uh the direction in which i expected the uh, moving averages to go for stochastics we were measuring it from when we were over here and we were calling uh we were calling this to be likely corrective and it has since done what we were talking about so uh the move that we were looking at based on fully expanded levels from this point right over here is we measured uh the 58 spot 47 percent and 
it looks like we can reach a target of about two dollars and fifteen cents. I am still seeing that the stochastics momentum is still indicating uh, an upside move right over here, along alongside the uh, volatility continuing on to to the upside. It looks like it's creating a sense of a channel right over here, you guys. So uh, I do expect uh, good for MMAT for the next uh, trading session, and it looks like it's trading aside uh, or beside the FOMC meet for tomorrow. So this uh, the technicals are actually looking pretty pretty good for it. I still expect some more upside to be realized. Now, this is not a certainty, you guys. This is a, st a statistical metric, and we should take it as such, not a certainty. So we are we are moving up like we expected, So uh, and it has already done a, a pretty substantial move. We can actually take a quick little measurement right over here from down here to up here. So, I, I mean... <laughs> From the firing off, from the firing off of the signal is a different is a different area from the point to where we actually start to uh, contract. So the pivot the pivot was actually more more or less from uh, let's just say when we were below ninety right over here. So it's actually from about this candle right over here. So. We can actually put it there, and it looks like we've made already about a 29% move to the upside based on our statistical metrics, you guys. So uh, now, one more thing. This is uh, what we're looking at right over here is uh, the ARC armor. These uh, indicators are actually uh, in partnership with myself and and uh, Cryptex, uh Trading. So they have partnered with me, Arca, and and they have created an Arc series indicators for day trading style, scalp style, momentum style type trades. And uh, this indicator in particular is comprised of several exponential moving averages very close to each other, so that we can be able to algorithmically place within the chart so that it can gauge momentum and movement, the waves of movement, for us to see where price action can go in the immediate short term time frames. So. So in this case, we have, you know, for example, right here, uh, we have a long position. It went up. This short position was triggered. It went down. We have a long position right here, and it has since gone up, and we still have not fired off another short a short signal. You can actually consider these uh, buy and sell signals, if you will. So we still haven't had a short signal. So I'm actually giving some weight to this indicator because it is pretty accurate. These indicators and others can be available to you. Uh, there, are, there are about two or three other indicators within this uh, series that also have buy and sell signals for further validation and confirmation. I use these indicators as a confirmation of my bias in, in direction as my, as my downside or upside thesis uh, before the trade. So uh, just uh, DM me, and uh, in acquiring these indicators, I'll also include the ARC RSI and both the short-term time frame and long-term time frame BBWP volatility uh, indicators as well, you guys. Uh, so this is a pretty good place for me to leave the video, you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter, on Discord. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description below for you guys to uh, reach out to me. But with that said, I wish you well, and I'll catch you at the bell manana. Adios.